Welcome to Zoho Books, a powerful financial platform for your business. With the Australia edition of Zoho Books, you can handle all your accounting needs, such as managing invoices, purchases, budgets, generate business activity statement report to file your GST, generate reports, track payroll, and much more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization, and begin your accounting right away. To get started, you have to create an account with Zoho Books. Now, if your business is spread across different locations around the world, go to www.zoho.com books and click the sign up now button. If your business is operating exclusively in the Australia and New Zealand region, then for compliance reasons, you can sign up with books.zoho.com.au and click the sign up now button. This will store your data in the Australia data center and allows you to add organization for locations within the Australia New Zealand region. Here, enter your company name, email address, and create a password for your organization. Select your business location as Australia. And mark this box if you wish to receive marketing updates from Zoho. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy. Now, click Create Account. Enter your organization name. The business location will be Australia. Select the state or province you're in and enter your business address. The currency and language will be auto-populated as Australian dollars and English. If your business is registered with GST, then enable this option and enter the 11 digit Australian business number or the ABN. Now click get started. That's it, your organization is all set up. You'll get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you'll be logged into the Getting Started page, which will help you navigate through Zoho Books easily. You can also find the corresponding how-to videos and webinars for each section here. Now let's enter your organization details. Click the settings icon and go to the organization profile. You can upload your company logo here and you can select the industry you're in. You can edit the company address here. And if you have a separate address for receiving payments, you can mark this box and enter them here. You can choose to configure the email preferences for the primary contact of your organization here. Here, configure your fiscal year, report basis, time zone, and other settings. You can add your company ID here and an additional field to add the Australian business number or ABN associated with your organization. These fields show up on your PDF by inserting the required placeholders in your address format. After this is done, click Save. Next, let's configure your tax settings. Go to Settings and click Taxes. To begin with, you must configure the tax settings. Click here. You can enable this option if your business is registered with GST. Enter the ABN number, choose the reporting period and select the tax basis. Next, select the date from which you wish to generate the BAS report in Zoho Books. Next, you can add a new tax rate by clicking the plus new tax button here. Enter the tax name and the tax rate in percentage here. Then click save. You can group the taxes into tax group as well. Click here. Then select the tax rate you wish to group together and click save. That's it, you've set up your taxes. Now let's get back to the dashboard. On the left sidebar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Books. Under items, you can add all the goods and services that you provide in your business. In the banking module, you can select your bank account, import bank statements, match transactions and reconcile your accounts. In the sales module, you can add your customers and add transactions for your accounts receivables. You can create and send estimates to your customers, record advance payments through retainer invoices, create sales orders for the items that you sell and create invoices for your customers. You can keep track of all the payments through payments received you can also create recurring invoices for your regular customers and store your customers' credit through credit notes. Next, you have the Purchases section where you can add your vendors, expenses, and recurring expenses. 
You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills and track all the payments made to your vendors through Payments Made. You can add your recurring bills here and also track any credits from your vendors through Vendor Credits. The Time Tracking module allows you to handle project accounting and keep track of all your projects. You can also log the time spent by your employees on them using timesheets. In the Accountant module, you can add accounting transactions, create manual journals, bulk update accounts in your transactions, make currency adjustments, view and add your chart of accounts, create budgets, and perform transaction locking. Additionally, you have the Tax Payments and Tax Adjustments module to help you track the payments and adjustments made from the filed returns. The Reports module consists of 70 business and accounting reports to keep your business health intact. For example, the Profit and Loss Report, Balance Sheet, Cash Flow Statement and various other reports which will help you get real-time insights needed to optimize your business. For any report, you can choose to schedule it, share it securely with your team and also export it in various file formats to your system. If you are a GSD registered customer and wish to file your taxes, then go to the Taxes section and click the BAS option. Here, you can configure and generate the Business Activity Statement or the BAS report for all your transactions on a monthly or quarterly basis. Once you've configured your tax settings, you can click Generate New BAS icon to view the BAS report. In this report, you can get the summary of taxes to be paid or taxes available for claim for a particular reporting period. You can also make adjustments to the transactions in different accounts. The Documents module acts as a storehouse for all your documents. You can upload documents here, auto-scan data from the documents to create new transactions instantly. You can also auto-upload your bank statements from email as well. Here, you can configure the module you wish to enable in the left sidebar. Next, let's go to Settings, where you can view additional preferences for your organization. For instance, you have your organization profile, opening balances, users and roles, currencies, templates, automation feature, and much more. Now that you have a basic overview of Zoho Books, let's look at a few basic steps to quickly start your accounting. Make sure to follow these steps in order to set up your organization seamlessly. First, let's configure your chart of accounts. Go to the Accountant module and select Chart of Accounts. Here, you can find a well-defined list of accounts and their corresponding account types in Zoho Books. If you wish to add any additional accounts, you can click the plus new account button here. Then, choose the account type and enter a name for your account. Additionally, you can enter an account code and description for your account. Mark this box to display the account on your dashboard. For some accounts, you will have the option to enable the BAS preference for transactions pertaining to the account to be included to BAS. Click Save. Your account is now created. Next, let's add your items, which are the goods and services in your business. Go to the Items module and select Items. If you already have a list of items, you can import them here. To add items manually, you can click the plus icon next to Items or you can click the plus new button here. Then, choose the item type, enter the item name, unit and the tax preference. For non-taxable items, you can select the exemption reason from the drop-down. Next, enter the item's cost and selling price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. You can choose to track inventory for this item by clicking here and choose the corresponding inventory account, opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. Your item is successfully created. Now it's time to add your customers. Go to the sales module Select Customers. If you already have a list of customers, you can input them by clicking here. To add customers manually, click the plus icon next to Customers or the plus new button here. 
choose the customer type, enter their name, their company, choose their display name, and enter the contact information such as their email, phone number, and website if any. In the other details section, you can choose your currency and the tax rate you wish to associate with them. For non-taxable customers, you can choose the exemption reason from the drop-down. Next, enter the opening balance, choose the payments terms, and enter the social profiles if you wish. You can also choose to enable the client portal here, from where they can view the invoices, make payments, and keep track of all their transactions. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses. You can add the contact persons and other necessary details of the customers. Then click Save. Your customer has been successfully added. Similarly, you can add your vendors by going to the Purchases module. While creating a vendor, you have the option to declare your vendor's GST registration information. If your vendor is registered for GST, then click this box and provide the ABN number. To make sure your accounting is intact and continuous, you would need to bring in your opening balances, which you can get by running the trial balance report in the previous accounting software. After getting the report, go to Settings and click Opening Balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here to enter all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generate the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while generating to Zoho Books. You can import your accounts receivables for the amount you're yet to receive from your customers and accounts payable for the amount that you're liable to pay to your vendors. Under each of these categories, like assets and expenses, you can find the corresponding accounts, where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amounts and continue. You can click here to import your opening balances. Click Confirm. Now that you've set up your opening balances, added your items and customers, let's see how to create your first invoice. Go to Sales and click the plus icon next to Invoices. Select the customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter other details such as the invoice date, terms of payments and the due date. Next, add the items for this invoice and select the corresponding tax rates. If the customer is taxable, the tax associated with the customer will be auto-populated in this field. But if the customer is exempt from tax, then the tax field will be grayed out. Add the customer notes and the terms and conditions of your business. You can configure and select a payment gateway to receive payments faster. You can find various payment integrations by going to Settings and selecting Online Payments. Then, save the invoice. You've successfully created your first invoice. You can mail your customers the invoice. They can directly pay you by clicking the Pay Now button if you've set up online payments. You can also choose to record payments for your customers manually. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to paid. Similarly, you can also create bills and record payments to your vendors. When you record a payment to a vendor who is not registered to GST, you will have an option to declare whether the tax is deducted or not from your end and record the amount of tax withheld. All the entries made for payments recorded with tax deduction will be summarized in the report section under the tax withheld summary report. You can enable the client or vendor portal for your customers and vendors in the settings module. The client portal helps your customers to handle transactions and track payments all in a single space. You can choose to enable the client portal for your customers while adding a new customer or go to sales, customers, select the customer, click more and select configure client portal. Once you set up the client portal, your customers can view and manage estimates, pay instantly for invoices provided a payment gateway is integrated and do much more. Next is the integration section 
in the settings module, which allows you to connect Zoho Books with Zoho applications and do much more. More importantly, with the introduction of Zoho Books Key Pay integration, you can now track payroll for your business without any hassle. You may reach out to our team at support.au at the rate zohobooks.com for any assistance required to integrate your payroll with Zoho Books. Now let's get back to the dashboard, which will give you an overview of your financial health. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics for your business, such as your total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your top expenses, projects that you're working on, the bank and credit cards that you have added, and your account watch list. You can also view all your recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organizations, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can use the help document and the assistance of our support team over chat, email, or phone at any point from here. You can also access your Zoho accounts from here. Hope you got a good overview of Zoho Books. In the description below, we've added a link to access our 14-day trial where you can access all our features for free during the trial period. After the trial period gets over, you can choose to continue using our free plan or subscribe to any of our paid plans. You can check out the pricing page link given in the description below. That's it for now folks. Have a great day. Thank you.